Yo, what's going on guys? It's Jabora Vibe Me and today I'm going to show you how to install and set up the Sega Model 3 G920 Edition for Xbox Dev Mode. For those who don't know what the G920 Edition is, this is a special edition pre-configured so you could use your G920 steering wheel setup with the app. Alright, so for this tutorial you will need four things. First, you will need to be on a Series S and X and have Dev Mode installed and activated. I'll have a link down below to a playlist where you can watch the tutorial and then you can watch other tutorials for Dev Mode related things. Two, you will need an external device such as a hard drive or a USB hard drive. For this, you will also need special permission. So if you look at the playlist down below, you can watch that as well. For the third thing, you will need a G920 wheel setup. And then the last thing you will need is the Sega Model 3 G920 app x file and also the microsoft vc libs dependency needed for this so the first thing i'm gonna do is show you the usb setup in the format that works for this app all right bet so for this app all you would really need is your games to be in dot zip format and that's pretty much about it so on your usb inside your games folder just create a sega model 3 folder simply drag all the games you have into it and make sure that they're in dot zip or else they won't work you can find this file within the Xbox Dev Store. I will also have this link down below. And you can also find this within the Revive Community Discord, where you can get tons of support questions, help with anything that you're having trouble on, or also just discussing apps that could be ported to UWP. This is a brand new dev store created by Moon Power. It's completely updated and it has all the latest versions of everything for UWP within this and big shout out to everyone else who's also been contributing and helping out set up this dev store with Moon. Alright, so once you get to this dev store, all you got to do is at the top, click on the emulators. And then we're going to scroll down a bit until we find Sega Model 3. And then click on the download and download from GitHub. Now once we get to this page, all you got to do is scroll down. You can also look at all the game configurations for the G920 here as well. And then all you got to do is grab the Sega Model 3 G920 1.0.0.4. And then also, please do not forget to get this Microsoft.vc libs. This is the dependency needed for this app. And then credits to the Supermodel team for the Sega Model 3 emulator. RSARN for the UWP port. Me, myself for the testing advice, adding of the Logitech G920 controls for the racing games. And then also Poopbird 4K for the additional polish and fixing up some of the steering access and also fixing the brake pedal. All right, so all we gotta do now is go into the dev portal so that we can install our app. I'll be showing an example of how you could get into the dev portal, but if you already know, you could skip this next part. Now I'm gonna show you the remote access at the bottom. So simply click on remote access settings. And what we're gonna do is enable the Xbox dev portal. What this will do is this is where we will install our apps. We would have to do this from the computer or your phone. Make sure to keep a screenshot of this because anytime you want to enter the access portal on your computer, you're going to have to use either one or two links, whichever one works for you. And then at the bottom, there's an authentication where you can set a password and username. Me personally, I just keep this unchecked. It's just a little easier to get onto the page without having to enter your information every time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave our Xbox on this page. I bet. So what we're going to do is switch over to the PC. We're going to enter in one of the links for the access portal. And then there's some settings we're going to change from there. And then you should be good to go. All right. Now that we're on the computer, what we're going to do is enter in one of those links. And yes, please add the HTTPS within it. And then once you enter in the link, you should get a page that says your connection is not private. Attackers might attempt to steal your information. Simply at the bottom, click on advanced and proceed. I bet once we get to this dev portal, all you got to do is underneath my games and apps, click on add. Now look for that new Sega Model 3 G920 file you just got and drag it right into it. Click on next. It's going to ask for any necessary dependencies and then drag that dependency Microsoft VC lib right into it and click on start. Once it says successfully registered, all you got to do is click on done. And then we're going to head over to the Xbox and finish up the setup. All right, bet. So once you get into dev mode on your Xbox, what you got to do is hover over your app and click the select button on it. Go to view details. Make sure to change it from an app to a game. Unless it's set like that by default, then you should be good to go. All right, so for the final part, the most important thing you need to remember is anytime you go into the G920 edition, you need to make sure that all your controllers are turned off 
except the G920. You have to start the app with the wheel, select your game with the wheel, and then you shouldn't have any issues. But if you guys have issues, please let me know down below and we'll make sure to get it working for you. Alright, bet. So all we're gonna do is get your Xbox controller and hold the Xbox button. Make sure to turn it off. And if you have any other controller set up, make sure to turn that off as well. And then we're gonna load into the app with the wheel and select our game with the wheel. And then you should be good to go. Now at the moment there is no UI. So what you have to do every time you load up is you have to look for your Sega Model 3 folder with your games and then manually select your game. And after that, you're pretty much good to go. So hope you guys enjoyed. If this video helped you out, please let me know down below. If you enjoy content like this for dev mode, please hit that subscribe button for more videos.